Welcome back. Gemstone lovers, this one's for you. Whether you use them for decor or jewelry, the Jacksonville Gem and Mineral Society wants you to come out to their annual show. We got Craig Hamilton, the group's president, here to t tell us all the details. You also brought some gems and stuff with you. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you back. We're, wel we're welcome to be here. Uh, yeah. It's really nice. We appreciate that. Well, time is just flying right now. <laughs> it is. Yes, we're having a spring show this year, first time ever. Yeah. And so uh, it's coming up this weekend. Okay, so Craig, um, let's talk about the, the society first. Tell us, how long has the group actually been around? Okay, the club was formed in 1959, uh, in January 1959 by three gentlemen. We uh, started meeting at the uh, San Marco Library then. We didn't have our own building, but we do now. Yeah. And uh, so I joined in October of 1959, so I'm celebrating my 61st year this year. That's amazing, congratulations to you. Thank you. All right, so um, this is a pretty big event, but have you have you noticed, I mean, obviously you guys have been around for years. Has, has there been a peak of interest when it comes to gems yes, and minerals? Yes, it increased very much so. Uh, we have lots of dealers coming with fresh material, and uh, people are always interested in what new things are out there to be uh, obtained, yeah. and uh, jewelry and specimens and that sort of thing. What is it that you think draws people to just gems and minerals in general? It's different. Uh, some people collect specimens, some people like to make jewelry, and so there's a little bit for everyone. Yeah, and you brought a little bit of, uh, here on the table for the, some of the things that people can expect to see at this show. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what this is? Because yes. when, I mean, when you see this, you don't necessarily, you know, when you think of gems, um, but I guess this has to be a mineral. Um, it's a mineral, yes. <laughs> right. And that's, th those are called desert roses. Those are selenite roses. Okay. And uh, they're from out west. And uh, then this other specimen over here is uh, agatized coral, and that's from Georgia. Amazing. So we can make jewelry out of that, but this is basically just a specimen. Okay, so um, can you tell us a little bit more about like on the, the, the digs? Okay, uh, yes, uh, we do have digs associated with the uh, Southeastern Federation to the Dixie Mineral Council. Okay. And uh, they're scheduled digs monthly. And so with, uh, people are invited to come join and go dig. So you can actually find your own minerals? Yes, yes, there's quite a number of uh, locations throughout the Southeast that we have mines that are open to people go dig. Okay, mm -hmm. and so tell us a little bit about the show and what people can expect, because this is a 32nd annual show. Right. It's, it's been happening for years now. Yes, uh, it, we started quite a long time ago, and uh, we used to be in the old Coliseum, which is now replaced by the arena, but <clears throat> yes, um, our, our shows are very varied, and we have a lot of different dealers. We have gem dealers and specimen dealers, fossil dealers, so there's a little bit for everyone. We have a, a very nice display for children. Okay. Uh, it's educational. And we also have a gem mine where the, the children can buy a little bag, a plastic bag with some sand and gems in it and do the gem mining at the show. They always love that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think I would love that, and I'm an adult. So <laughs> it, it truly is an event for the whole it's, family it's to come out to. It's a lot of fun. It sure is. Um, so uh, <clears throat> give us the show details exactly. When, when and where is all this okay. happening one more time? <clears throat> the spring show this year is going to be at the Jacksonville Fairgrounds, which is just a few blocks from here. It'll be open to the public on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 10 to 5. Okay. So, Do you have any tips for anyone that's maybe never been to the show before? Well, uh, <clears throat> just come early and, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of activities for people to do. We have live demonstrations going on okay. uh, during the show. And uh, so there's hands-on things people can enjoy. Uh, of course, peruse the tables for different offerings. There you we go. Have, so it's not just a matter of coming in and looking at things no, in cases. You we can have actually all get your hands on stuff. We have rings and bracelets and, and, and beads and things people can make for themselves, too. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. And uh, you. you guys can obviously catch that gem and mineral show and all the details on our website, firstcoastliving.net.